Well, yesterday was quite the day for Apex Legends, and we got some good news, and we got some really bad news as well. So if you guys have not heard already, yes, there are some cryptic messages going down, and what exactly is Respawn trying to tell us? Yes, also, some of the pro players are outraged beyond belief to where another big daddy organization is leaving Apex, and they're blaming EA. Can you blame them, really, for blaming EA? I think this has kind of been the notion for quite some time, but if you guys want to stay up to date all things Apex Legends news-related, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this this channel if you want to stay up to date esports related you can check out our algs news channel as well and without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this if you guys have not seen already once again yes nrg has left apex legends and i'm not saying the roster just disbanded the entire organization is basically walking away from the scene they basically also blame ea for being mostly to blame for this unfortunately alpha intel also reported this same information and this has been one of the biggest exits that we have seen in honestly apex history i mean tsm is probably the biggest team and the biggest organization in this scene but i think nrg was probably a good close second now they're no longer going to be there anymore unfortunately and it really really sucks to have teams do that now that makes nrg ssg cloud nine team liquid g2 and if you watch my algs news channel you will know that there are more to come and i think we just announced those in today's video on that algs news channel so make sure to go check it out sad stuff altogether, but it could actually lead to a better ground eventually we'll just have to wait and see also wanted to mention now even despite these people leaving leaving the organizations and the organizations leaving the game and all of this stuff and like the whole blaming ea and all of this stuff like they actually did come out now this was respawn not ea so yes you could honestly say that the attitude may be a little bit different but this was coming from otter in a video explaining how respawn basically likes to react to hot topics and hot information and how people get aggravated with the game and they basically said they don't really crumble under pressure but here's what they feel like they do roll the clip i don't think it's ever specifically said like oh we need to make this change because the community's breathing breathing down our neck or something like no. that but it has been the reason we've started talking about something which might you know bring into light okay, okay. maybe we could adjust it in this way because there is so much heat around this specific thing but we try not to let just that that one sort of data point drive our decision making you guys remember in yesterday's video we discussed about these patch notes little nuggets of information that they were trying to share with us and so it was really nice because people were starting to wonder what the heck is going on i mean they're trying to get us to understand the you know the release date of titanfall one release date of titanfall two release date of apex legends when are they going to be adding something new we talked about them working on a brand new project with titanfall's director is this what they're discussing or what exactly is going on? Well, we did have a really, really good theory come out from Crow Rendo. And honestly, I thought he would have been really onto something until it got debunked by Respawn themselves. He said Titanfall Revival actually might be its death because what if they are basically going to start updating the playlist for Titanfall, random Nessies show up in Titanfall 2, a little Easter egg related R1, R2, and R5 release date makes me think this. What if they actually are going to release all the Titanfall maps, which we already know that that has been teased already, and Titan and all titanfall guns will be added into these new uh you know game modes with apex legends so moving titanfall to retail apex and ending good old titanfall as we know it by shutting it down all the servers never forget battle royale kill trackers are also called apex kills what if they change that you know uh, titanfall kills or something like that and that's why they did apex why would you call it apex kills you know it just doesn't really make sense maybe we thought they could do something in the future but this did get debunked by josh medina the senior producer over there saying that's going to be a no from me dog and crowd rendo said it was a big epic theory fail but honestly i thought it really was so good i i really thought he was like he just figured the plot out but it seems like we were wrong so i guess it's back to guessing now the reason he stemmed this conversation to begin with is because the animation director over at respawn entertainment moy had posted i don't know why i feel today will be an awesome day and then he gives this cryptic message by saying this is not a cryptic message teasing some surprise release in apex i'm just happy so obviously we know he wasn't trying to say anything very specific but you know we also know that he is probably probably hinting towards something despite him saying he's not hinting towards something I mean, that's just the classic way of doing it. now what was funny is the replies everybody started to say you know for sure that they knew it was coming and titanfall 4 confirmed from alpha intel i even said guys moid called me up today and told me everything apex single player titanfall 3 apex multiplayer modes cross progression in-game tournaments it's all coming and moid even responded to it with a laugh so i really doubt that it's what we think that's what it normally is right it's normally not what you think and it's normally something totally different but uh, i'm very excited to see what it is they're finally doing because 
because I know that something big is what we really need right now. So interested to see what you guys have to say about the topics in today's video. Let me know what it is that you think is coming. And then also let me know what you guys think about NRG leaving the Apex Legends scene, unfortunately. Of course, you can check out our ALGS news channel if you'd like to see the other teams that might potentially be leaving as well. And of course, click this video right here for my editor, Novell. I forgot to mention it in yesterday's video and he didn't even say a word to me. So such a nice guy. So go click this video and check it out and go show him some love. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, we'll see you all later, Gators.